Okay, so we are now on the quarter three week four of our discussion and the topic is all about problem solving in involving parallelograms, trapezoids, and kites. So example tie number one, quadrilateral SAME is a parallelogram if the measure of angle E is 115 and SA is 10 centimeters and ES is 8 centimeter. Find the measure of the remaining remaining angles and the lengths of MA and EM. So for the solution, we have here measure of angle E is 115. Ito po, 115 yan. So lagyan natin. Yeah, 115 degrees. So, measure of angle A is also 115. No? Bakit? Kasi opposite angles are congruent. Therefore, if angle E is 115, then angle A is also 115 degrees. Since two consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary, then if we add M uh, the measure of angle S and angle E equal to 180, this will become the measure of angle S is unknown and the angle E is 115 equals to 180. So, transpose natin sa kabila, it will become 180 minus 115 is 65. So, therefore, angle S is 65 degrees. So, therefore, if angle S is 65 degrees, of course, angle M is also 65 degrees. Next, the length of the remaining sides, if SA is 10, of course, EM is 10. Okay? Ito yun. SA is 10, of course, yung nasa taas ay... 10 then. Because opposite sides are congruent. How about ES? If ES is 8, of course, MA is 8 as well. Next, this is because of opposite sides of a parallelogram are always congruent. Another example, for what value of X is quadrilateral FGHJ a parallelogram? So, for the solution, it is important to note that opposite sides of a parallelogram must be congruent. Thus, FG is equal to JH. So, yung FG daw po ay equal sa JH. So, 5X plus 2 is equal to 4 times X plus 2. Since, gagawin natin equation. So, 5X, yung FG, ito yon. Then, yung JH is 4 times X plus 2. So, distribute muna natin to, yung 4. Yan. So, it will become 4x plus 8. So, 5x plus 2 is equal to 4x plus 8. Then, sub, uh, transpose natin yan sa kabila. Then, ito din. So, this will become 5x minus 4x is equal to x. And, 8 minus 2 is 6. Therefore, the value of x is 6. Ang tinatanong lang naman is for what value of x. So, we have now the value of x as 6. Next, another one, trapezoid. Quadrilateral FORM is a trapezoid with bases MR and FO. So, ito yung base 1, base 2. Okay? Find the value of X and Y and find the measure of each angle of the trapezoid. So, since each lower base angle of trapezoid is supplementary to the upper base angle on the same side, then angle M is plus angle F is 180. So, ito daw pong dalawa, yan, ay 180. Okay? So, itong dalawa, makakabuo tayo dyan ng 180. So, lagay natin yung, uh, substitute natin yung mga given, 2x minus 10 plus 5x plus 15 is equal to 180. So, 10 minus 15 is 5, and 2 plus 5 is 7. Since, like terms, ilalagay natin or co-comply natin yung like terms. 7x plus 5 is equal to 180. 
transpose mo sa kabila, mamamainos na ng 5, therefore, naging 175. So, 7x is equal to 175, divide both sides by 7, that would be 25. So, the value of x is 25. Using the, prop the same properties used in the letter A, the measure of angle R plus the measure of angle O is equal to 180. So, 2x plus 6 plus 4y is equal to 180. We're going to use the value of x na nakuha natin kanina, which is 25. Next, so 2 times 25 plus 6 plus 4y is equal to 180. 2 times 25 is 50 plus 6 is 56. Then transpose natin sa kabila, it will become negative. Mama minusan yung 180, it will become 124. So divide natin sila both sides by 4, this will become 31. So the value of y is 31. Solving for the measure of angle f. Angle F is equal to 5x plus 15. So, the measure of angle F is equal to 5 times 25 plus 15 is 140. So, therefore, the measure of angle F here is 140. Solving for O, 2 times 25 is 50 plus 6 is 56. That is for O. And for R, AM, m is equal to 2x minus 10. 2 times 25 is 50. Minus 10 is 40. For r, for y, y is 31. 4 times 31 is 124. Ganun lang po. Number, for example, the figure above shows an, in, an isosceles trapezoid ABCD with AB is parallel to DC and AD is congruent to BC. If AD is 4x and BC is 3x plus 5, what is the value of x and what is the length of bc? So, since ad and bc are congruent, we could solve for the value of x. So, 4x is equal to 3x plus 5. Ito po yun, ad at bc. Since they are equal or congruent, isosceles po kasi yung trapezoid. So, therefore, 4x is equal to 3x plus 5. Transpose mo yung 3x sa kabila, it will become negative. So, 4 minus 3 is 1. So, kaya natira ay 5. So, the value of x is 5. Solving for the length of bc, bc is equal to 3x plus 5. So, 3 times 5 plus 5, 15 plus 5 is 20. So, the value of bc is 20. If 20 yung bc, ano ang value ng ad natin? Of course, 20 din. Kasi nga, congruent sila. Consider kite A, B, C, D on the right. So, this is the kite. If A, if D, C is 8, ito daw po ay 8, ano daw po measure nito? Of course, 8 then, Because they are congruent. If A, D is 15, A, D is 15, what is A, B? Of course, 15 then, Because they are congruent. What is the area if A, C is 13 and B, D, B is 7? So, the area is 1 half times AC times DB. So, 1 half times 13 times 7. 13 times 7 is 91. Divided by 2 is 45.5. That is the area of the given kite. And that's it for week 4 of our topic.